Thank you for joining me. This is Fly My Mavic, and it's actually now Fly My Mini because I bought myself a Mini 2. But something I noticed um, if you power on the Mini and you want to check the firmware version, then something rather strange happens uh, in the app. And I've done a quick Google search, and it's quite a common issue. Uh, let's wait for that to connect up and then launch the app. There we go. Put that in. DJI Fly. I won't do a screen recording, it's only something quickly I want to show you. Okay, so not now. I'm going to go to Go Fly. I'm going to tap the three dots and go to About. As you can see, it says Firmware version not available, check for updates. Click on Check for updates. So it says your firmware is up to date, but you've not actually no idea what firmware version you're on and if it is actually the latest version. So with the old quads, um, you could use the assistant software. I'm just going to just plug my quad in for a second. Oop, bear with me. All right. It just so happens that I've got the, um, the software on the computer. I've just installed it now. It's the DJI uh, consumer version, I believe they call it. Uh, I've just found the shortcut. There we go. Consumer drones. Okay, sorry about that. The screen goes black when he does the uh, admin request. So we're just going to launch this software. Uh, so, uh, yes, and that's allow access on there, allow access on there. And then click on agree. We really go through all this. I uh, don't want to do that. Okay, now the procedure for getting a mini to connect is this. I'll just bear with me a second. You have to actually turn off the mini. Pull the plug out like that. Once it shuts down, turn the mini on. And when you hear the startup chimes, plug it in. And then hopefully the assistant software will see it and you should get this going across. There we go. So if you click on uh, Mini 2, you'll notice uh, that all you've got here is Log Export. You haven't got a firmware tab. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to close it out first of all. Then we're going to go to Internet Explorer, uh, for File Explorer, and we're going to go into C, Program Files x86, DJI Product, and we're going to go to DJI Assistant to Consumer Drone. Then we're going to go into DJI Engine. I'll put the link to this below, so don't worry too much. We're going to find this file that's called Default Settings Ini. I'm going to open that up, and you'll see that it shows this and it says upgrade enabled zero what we want to do we want to change that to one okay now we're going to click file and save and it's going to let you know you're going to save it but do you want to replace it yes but you can't access it you don't have permission so if you are one of these who comes up with this don't have permission just close it back out for a second right click on the file and choose properties go to security and find users and then click on edit then in this box here click on the full control tick there and click apply and then click OK once that's done we're going to open it again we're going to change that back to one then we're going to click on file and save as you can see this time it's not popped up wanting to where to save it so that's now saved just to verify we'll open it back up again you'll now see it showing one Okay, going to close that out. And what we're going to do is we're going to power off the Mini again. Pull the plug out. And then we're going to launch the Consumer Drone Series. Wait for it to start up. There we go, it's starting up. Now it's started up. Turn on the quad. Wait for the tone. Plug in the lead, and our DJI assistant should now start up for me. There we go. Now, if we click on DJI Mini 2, you'll now see we have a firmware update tab. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it still doesn't show what firmware version we've got. It still shows all zeros. So we're going to upgrade the latest version because, well, it's probably the best one to have. Uh, make sure it's connected to the internet and start update. 
It's going to download the file. It's not going to be a very big file because it's not a very big quad at the end of the day. There's probably not much changes in it. Then it's going to transmit it to the quad. And I'll just fast forward through the end of this. At which point the quad is then shut down. So I'm going to just unplug it again. Start it back up. Wait for the startup chimes. Plug it back in. There we go. So I'll click back on DJI Mini 2. Go across to firmware updates. And we'll now see whether or not it shows the correct version, as you can now see, that's now showing 0302300, which is good. So what we'll do now is we'll just check that in the app. About, and there you go, it's now showing 0102300. Check for updates, check in version. There you go, your firmware's up to date. So that's how you fix the not available for firmware, uh, firmware on the Mavic Mini 2. Thanks for watching, take care, and as always, fly safely.